Uh, we have a um, Vantage S, um, which was uh, was uh, something of a, a history car. Uh, it was one of the early cars that was done by Bamford Rose, and one of the uh, old D car that the development mods um, or the mods that can be applied to a Vantage S suspension. Um, clutch upgrade and engine manifold upgrades uh, was done on. So one of the one of the early Bamford Rose cars. So uh, yeah, the story of my car is quite interesting. Uh, I was looking for a Vantage some years ago and uh, stretched myself into an S when I found one that uh, was on V car as a Cat D. So I, uh, I, I, you know, being a mechanical engineer, I had the confidence to go and have a look around and satisfy myself that uh, it had been repaired reasonably well. Um, one or two, there were one or two minor issues, but I went ahead and purchased the car anyway. And um, when I, uh, when I, you know, I started exploring a bit deeper, I found there was one or two issues that did remain from the accident repairs, and you know, they needed to be, to be resolved. So principally, that was uh, the suspension was uh, not quite right. Uh, it didn't handle quite as well as it should have done. It sat a little high. Um, it kind of looked as if it was up on stilts. And uh, obviously I've subsequently found that that's because uh, it had some version of a DB9 suspension fitted to it. And uh, I was, uh, I thought, you know, what I'll do is uh, I'll fix the suspension, upright it and put something decent on it. Yeah, it's interesting really. So when I finally discovered Bamford Rose and came to see Mike and uh, you know, I'd, I'd had an idea that I wanted to upgrade the engine with the uh, stainless steel and read lots of good reports about how that would improve the engine. My clutch was on its way out, it was starting to judder, so I figured I'd get the clutch done at the same time. Um, and then you know, knowing that I'd had this long-standing issue with my suspension, I figured I may as well get that done. So. I ended up uh, coming, bringing the car around to Bamford Rose to get the full works package done. And I bear in mind it, it is a, it is an S, so it already has the brakes and the seven-speed transmission and the carbon bits. So this was, uh, you know, a, a project to finish the car off and, uh, you know, fixing the issues that the car um, had developed over my four years of ownership, as well as upgrading it and turning it into what it should have always been um, from the factory. My path to the full Bamford Rose upgrades uh, wasn't an easy one. Um, I bought my car in 2016. It had issues with the suspension, so I, uh, I went to what I thought was a, a recognised specialist in upgrading Astons and sorting out suspension. I, uh, I bought some, I made a mistake of buying Nitron suspension directly from the manufacturers, thinking that that would be a worthwhile upgrade. And then I took the car to David Appleby to fit the Nitron. Um, it did improve the car's handling, uh, but introduced other issues. The NVH problem became quite unbearable for myself and knocks and clunks coming from the um, rose jointed racing suspension were not something that I could live with. I took the car back, um, lots of toing and froing with uh, both David Appleby and other specialists, small local to me, as I tried to fix the issues. Um, the issues were, were not really understood uh, by any of the specialists that I took the car to and uh, I got to the point after three years of ownership where I was ready to put the car on the market and try and sell it uh, because it seemed as if nobody understood how to fix the issues with the car. So uh, I was then lucky enough to, uh, to finally get through to Mike at Bamford Rose, um, managed to book the car in, brought the car in and you know, within minutes Mike said, oh yes, you just need to change that suspension over for something that's designed for a road car. I wasn't sure I believed uh, that it would be that simple, um, but when the car came in, the job was done in a few days and I got back a vehicle that was completely transformed. So a, uh, as I've, uh, you know, uh, I decided when I did bring the car to Bamford Rose, I'd have the suspension done, I'd have the engine done, the stainless steel manifolds, the remap and the twin plate clutch. And yeah, what, uh, what I went home with was a, a very different vehicle than what I arrived at Bamford Rose in. Um, you know, it really finally felt like the car that the, the car should have been. It was the car that the car should have been from the factory. Um, utterly transformed, um, you know, fast revving, free revving, superb handling, balanced, a decent set of um, Michelin tyres on. The car is uh, everything, it, you know, I certainly had ever hoped it would be and more.
Yeah, so um, obviously the first one was my um, Vantage S uh, that uh, was the original Bamford Rose modified car uh, and I've uh, now finally, after four years of ownership, taken it back to what it should have been. So it's full back to full Purdy spec. Um, that's my fun car, my scratching tool. It's uh, you know something that I have fun with um, down down through the A roads and the B roads. I hope to do track days in it um, when I get the time and when work permits, and uh, you know just have some fun and enjoy it. Uh, I also have a, a DB11, which is um, it's the V12 uh, uh, flash to the AMR spec. So. Um, that's what I use for my summer daily commute. Um, and I, uh, I recently acquired a, a classic V8. Um, and uh, I, uh, that's a, an Oscar India V8, which uh, I, I you know, will be tinkering with uh, in the future and just sort of enjoying the, the, the ownership proposition of having a classic. The Vantage is my um, go-to fun vehicle. Uh, I have one or two bikes as well and you know when in the mood to uh, you know have a bit of fun um, then the Vantage S yes, it's small compact fast nimble um, you know, I just use it for um, enjoying the Sunday afternoon uh, run out um, I do hope to do a track day in it and possibly ought to take it to the Nürburgring one day and um, when time work permits so, um, very typical first world problem. Uh, in my, my quest for the perfect V8 noise, um, I'm having my uh, rear silencer section replaced. So, the car is a, a Vantage S with a Vantage S silencer. And when I had the um, stainless steel manifolds 200 cell motorsport cats um, fitted by Bamford Rose, uh, they, I got them to introduce the baffle immediately downstream of the 200 cell cats and that works well to attenuate the open pipe or noisy hooligan mode uh, which creates a fantastic sound when the valves are open. But for me, when the valves are closed, the noise that I get is too quiet. So I'm looking for an improvement or a, a change in the noise characteristics when the valves are closed so that when I'm not in hooligan mode, I have a car that still sounds like a V8 and you know sounds less like an over over silenced car. So in order to achieve that end I'm having Mike and Co fit a V12 AMR rear silencer unit. This differs from the standard V8S silencer in that in valve open mode it's a full straight through pipe and in valve closed mode it directs the gases through a smaller silencing um, silencing chambers. So it changes the system interaction that happens between the baffle and the rear silencer box. And the, the, the intent is that the net result will be an even louder hooligan mode with a crisper sound because there's no entry or exit from any, any part of the silencer at all. And when the valve is closed, I get a bit more noise because it's a smaller reduced volume silencer.